Kiji's right. been tripping over jacks while you guys were away. Why are you doing that? They can hear that. All right, uh, guys. It's story time. It is story time. So do I really need to do this? Not really. We don't, but we are trying to inform our audience who came here because you bought the Aston. So they might yes. be looking to buy a similar car, kind of like how you were. I mean, yes. you weren't looking to buy an Aston initially. You were looking to buy a... McLaren MP412C. And this whole video is going to be... I don't want to call it exposing a dealership, but also... What was the thing you said? Honest truth? I said something really good, but yeah, I don't I, remember I, what I said. I deleted the other footage, too. Bro. Sorry. Something honest. So, it's just the honesty. Like, honest... It's just, it's just the honest video that, you know, I, this is exactly how I this felt. Is Kichi's experience with this dealership yes. firsthand. Yes. And a couple reasons why I want to do it. One is because I want you guys to really know how, you know, this just the car industry in general, but also like who they who these people there's are. There's good dealerships, there's bad dealerships, there's dealerships, there's liarships. Exactly. There's right. ship ships. And then if you I don't know if you guys know this guy, but what was his name? Supercar? No, normal normal guy supercar. Yeah, normal guy supercar. They What's these, the guy's name? Do you know the guy's name? No idea. This guy even posted a video of his trying him trying to buy a Lamborghini Gallardo Superleggera and found out that it wasn't a Superleggera. Blah blah blah. So I will leave I'll probably leave his you know videos link uh, link videos in, in our description. Yeah, because you don't whatever. have to believe us, you can believe another YouTuber yeah. who had a bad experience. So that's with yeah, so this them. is exactly why you know I I want to do this too, just not to you know like hop on the train. There is no train. He was watching out for his viewers, we're watching out for our two viewers. Yes. Hey, hey two people. Maybe three. Three? No way. <laughs> All right. So long story short, um, you guys probably have seen the video that I did purchase a Ast an Aston Martin Vantage 2019. And originally that was, I was not going to buy that car at all. I was actually going to purchase a McLaren MP412C from this one dealership in Florida. And it was Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And the name is... You already showed it there. It yeah. The Car 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 Cario. Cario, Cario, whatever, whatever the f*** their name is. Don't matter. C-A-R-R-I-O. These guys were... Some of the workers were great. I would say the salesman that I was dealing with, amazing guy. Let's Go call him Jerry. Him. Jerry was great. Jerry guy was absolutely amazing. He faced we both FaceTimed. We you know he was really good at responding. Absolutely amazing guy. But Karen wasn't cool. Uh, Karen was not cool at all. You reached out to them inquiring yeah. about the car. So I reached out to Cario Cario Motors. Yes, Cario Motors, and I you know inquired. Oh, what is it? Inquired. Inquired. Inquired about McLaren MP412C, and everything went great. It was a black 2013 black MP412C with like 20,000 miles for like $89,000, okay. which is a really good price. And I feel like you got a better deal. You got a lot newer of a car. That's true, that's very true. So now I think about it, it was probably a sign that I, you know, maybe it was a good thing that I didn't get it, but him, the salesman, Jerry, Jerry and I were just going back and forth and I already got, I already showed him the pre-approved letter. I've already booked flights or booked two tickets. Two tickets. Two tickets, I struggled with this earlier. For myself and for camera guy, Kai, also booked hotel as well for three days. We were just gonna hang out there. Damn. So total of the flights and hotel was twenty five hundred, three grand, just for three days. How much ever did you get back? That's another thing too. That's why I was also mad. Sorry. Is that flight? We're that flight outside, was the tickets were a thousand dollars. Oh, because you were going there and back. You weren't driving back. I'm not driving back. So going there and back. You also had to factor in shipping too. Yeah. So shipping. Yeah. But also, I was in my head, shipping was just part of the car. So okay, I just didn't even fine. think of it, right? So, but do you think about you're getting a good deal in Florida and plus shipping and all the time and all this stuff to get it here? Was it not almost the same price as finding one here? No, I, there was just none. All the McLaren, even the one that was wrapped that we saw on Craigslist or whatever. Not, okay, that was one. That was like literally one. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. That's the only one I yeah. saw. Yeah, but I also it's, it's I don't I with those cars, like, I, don't, I don't know if I wanted to buy a private. Do you honest, want the backing of a dealership? Backing of a dealership. Yeah. How'd that work out for you, bud? Not great. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. Well, that's all. why you reach out and get PPIs, correct? Yeah. So, first of all, them, they were asking like a deposit down $5,000. Which is understandable. Is it though? M majority of the dealership that I've called, they were all $500 to maybe a grand. Every dealership's different. I'll give Every them that. Yeah, which is fine. Five thousand dollars versus five hundred dollars. It's amount, still a eighty, ninety thousand dollar car. Exactly. It's, it's like amount what? is different. Yes. But, but to me, is as 
as long as it's in a refundable, refundable after a PPI, after PPI, anything like that, then I'll be totally fine putting five thousand. Would they even give you partial refund or none of it? I didn't put, I didn't put the deposit down. No, I know. If you gave them the five grand, the PPI came back, no. said it needed an oil leak, and they wouldn't go down on the price, you would have been out five thousand dollars plus no. the PPI. Yes. Plus your plane ticket, plus your hotel. Yes. So mm. PPI was already six hundred dollars in Florida. Okay. 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 And deposit was five grand. So I said, I asked them obviously, hey, they like, could I get this money back? They say obviously no, which we already talked about. So I said, well, screw this, right? But it was a big dealership, like, huge. It's a big deal. So you guys know that like, you guys have definitely heard of them. The smart idea was to just buy it without getting anything yep. checked. Yep. So I was gonna, I'm just gonna buy the car. I'm gonna trust them. Seems like good guys. Whatever. At so, this point, did you meet Karen or not yet? No. Okay. No caring yet. Only Jerry. Gotcha. So Jerry and I were talking. So this was Labor Day weekend, uh, before Labor Day weekend. So it was Thursday. It was on Thursday. I was, you know, I booked flights and a hotel and everything. I already sent the photo. For what? For Saturday? Or for uh, Monday? For, oh, actually a week later. Okay. Yeah. So like a weekend after the, the week off, right? So I s even sent them a photo of, you know, the, you know, flights and what time we're going to be there, you know, pick us up, whatever, right? Because they were willing to pick us up from the, fl um, the airport. <laughs> Friday nice. hits and I was like a little busy and I was trying to get the paperwork done and it just, we just couldn't do it. And it was, it was like one, like 2.45. Oh no, it was 1.45 or something like that, my time. And in Florida, three hour difference, 4.45. That was a four hour difference. Three hours, three. Hmm. Yeah, so three hour difference. So it was already 4.45, they close at five. Right, so I was like, "Hey, we can't get this done today because it's it's still two forty-five here, but it's five or one forty-five." The, the they had fifteen minutes until they closed. Exactly. So I told them, "Hey, you guys will the bank will send you guys check on Tuesday. Well, the check will be there on Tuesday if everything goes through because of Labor Day weekend. They don't work Saturday, Sunday, or Monday, of course. The they, bank doesn't. Are the was the dealership still open? Uh, dealership was open. I think okay. the bank doesn't. Right. Imme as as soon as I said that, they immediately just. You know, just something just changed the switch. The salesman, Jerry, Jerry was like, let me give my phone to the manager, Karen. This is where Karen comes in. I like these names. Yeah, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Jerry. At least Jerry's a cool guy. Jerry, if you're watching this, you know, I love you. Karen hops on the phone. Her name's e Karen for a reason. Karen for immediately. You guys know Andy Elliott, right? Andy Elliott. He has the high energy type of salesman, which is, I, I do agree because I do sales for a living. And I do like that energy, but there's a difference between high energy, you know, versus attacking people. And the Karen started to immediately attack me. Immediately. Oh, why don't you put five grand down now? So it's your car, 10 grand down, whatever. Like, why aren't you doing it? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I said, hold up. He's giving you a full on sales pitch. But sales pitch, but like full on, if it was anybody else, like some people would be like, oh my gosh, like I'm, I'm, I will do it. I don't want to lose the car. Yeah, I don't want to lose the car. But I'm like, I don't care. I will lose the car. I still don't, I would not care. Hey, you can lose a McLaren and still get an Aston Martin. While Karen and I were talking, this is what she said. And I thought it was super, extremely disrespect, disrespectful. And she pretty much said that I don't care about you. This is business. She's, I think she said, she didn't say she doesn't care, but she said. How, how about her bluff? <laughs> what? Her bluff. What is that? She said she has someone else coming on Monday. Oh, that's right. You forgot, forgot about that one. That. Oh my God. That's when I pissed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Oh, the reason, before I hung up the phone with Karen, I, uh, she told before me. Before Kiji got mad. Yes. Well, I was already like frustrated. I wasn't mad. I was frustrated. Out of nowhere, she said, oh, by the way, there is another customer coming in on Monday which is Labor Day, to drop off the check. I was like, whoa, hold the fuck down. Whoa, 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 hold down. Wait, wait, wait. I told the salesman that I already booked flights and a hotel and everything. And she but, said- But, but you didn't put a deposit down. I didn't put the deposit so down. So it's not your car, you didn't secure it. Exactly, exactly, which is fine, right? So, But you should have been informed. Exactly, so what the sales guy said is like, oh, sorry, we're not aware of all the salesmen. I'm sorry, but as a good managed like, company, you should know. Karen should know. Karen should f***ing know. Well, Karen knew, but I guess Karen didn't tell Jerry, maybe? But, see, that's already a bad management, in yes. my opinion. To yes. me, it is. Like, because I own a company with agents. And I... T not agents. Agents. I'm sorry. Did it sound like agents? It sounded like agents. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Maybe. 
but I do have a good amount of Asians, and I you you gotta communicate, especially on the cars. That's all. I Dude, I'm trying to make this video freaking serious. Dude. I got a lot of Asians. Agents in my company. Agents. Agents. No, agents. Agents. Asians. <laughs> Same shit, man. Anyways. Hey, sorry, sorry. Yes. Go ahead. A lot of agents. We do a lot of sales side of it. I try to communicate as much as I can regard, you know, regarding the clients, my clients, family, whatever it is, right? A lack of management. They just didn't know. Maybe, hey, maybe they were just saying that, or maybe maybe they actually. You had said they're a big dealership. How many salespeople? How many cars? I don't know. It doesn't matter. If there's twenty or ten, I really don't care. Okay, fair enough. I don't. How many McLaren MP4 12 CD they have? There was two. I'm just saying, if it was but a big dealership, it's hard to keep track of every salesperson, every car, every deal. But th here's the thing. If so, here's my opinion, right? If I was just driving, hey, I live in, I don't know, Georgia. I don't, Miami, 30 minutes Miami, away. Sure, whatever. Georgia is kind of far. 30 minutes hey, away, Miami. it's closer than us. That's true. That's very true. But if that's the case, lack of communication, whatever. Oh, okay, I just want to drive. That's totally fine. Who cares? I'm flying from California, dude. I'm flying. And hotels. And hotels and everything. Right? Yep. So I was already mad about that. That The fact that they didn't tell me. Lack of uh, communications, lack, lack of comms. Can you imagine if she never said that and you never put a deposit down? And yeah. then you went there Thursday and there's no car. Yeah. No, no, it was I was supposed to go. Yeah, I was supposed to go, yeah, Friday. Like Friday after. Friday. Next Friday. Yeah, next yeah. That would be kinda of funny. They yeah, I would be pissed. <laughs> well they 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 would have actually told me on Tuesday. Oh, by the way. So that'd be really late to cancel everything. Yeah, really late to cancel everything. Not even like partial, you know, refund. I say, whoa, whoa, chill out. You know, let's let's why are you attacking me? I was like, Oh, she just put put five grand down, blah blah blah. I honestly this was like like, a, like three weeks ago, maybe a month ago. So I honestly don't really remember what she said, but still attacking me, right? So I was like, okay, let me call you back. I immediately called United, who I booked flights with, okay. I think. And I asked them if I can get, you know, uh, like a refund. They said no. It was already too late because it was like more than 24 hours or something like that. I don't know, so some, some weird reason. I was like, what? That's, that's bad. So that's what happened. And a couple of weird things about it that I thought was weird is one, $5,000 deposit, that's a little too much. If I'm buying an Aventador or something like that, I mean like two, three, like 150, 200, up to like a million dollar car, makes sense. They can get whatever deposit that they want as long as it's at least partially or whatever refundable, just exactly. something. Exactly. You wanna keep 500 bucks? You wanna take five now and then keep 500 bucks? Sure. Yes. But to keep all five, even before you get even get a PPI in the car, I think that's a little extreme. Yes, I, I, I personally think it's extreme. Um, I think, I mean, you guys let me know in the comment down below if, if you guys think that's weird. Like, not weird, but... Like, if you guys had any deal, stealership experiences. Yeah, but... So, yeah, $5,000 thing was, was a lot, but I, I just said whatever. And PPI thing, if, if, if there's anything wrong with the car, like, if I don't get a partial, a partial or, like, full refund, that's not, not my fault that you guys care. Take off five, five grand off the car. Or even that, yeah, exactly. I don't know. I want to cut you off here. I didn't watch Normal Guy's video. What is what was Normal Guy's experience? If the if they haven't watched it, I mean they I, can watch it, but I can't yeah, watch it I, right now. So I barely watched it, and so I think they were trying to buy a Lamborghini uh, Gallardo Super Leggera, mm -hmm. but it said Super Leggera, but it wasn't a Super Leggera. It was just a kit. Uh, maybe it was like just a body a kit. kit or something. Yeah. on a stock one. Yeah. And then it said it said that I had placed the deposit, been assured that car was complete fine, no check engine lights, no issues, ready to be driven home. So I booked flights for Adam and I. That's wow, that sounds familiar. <laughs> and along with hotel reservation, we were ready to get it. Uh, get it out of the camera. Oh, sorry. And then I called them to verify everything was all set, but but they informed me the car was transmission issues. Tried to convince me to buy another quote unquote super Legera. But it turns out the other car is not a Super Legera. Okay, so... The initial one they wanted was a Super, super Legera, Legera, but it had tranny issues. So they tried to sell them a fake Super Legera. Yeah, so it's a regular Gallardo priced as if it were a Super Legera. So... I don't know what a Super Legera does. I don't know. But okay. probably completely different. But either way, there's, there's a, another YouTuber that already had an experience like that. Obviously, my experience was, was even, wasn't, even, wasn't even close to that guy's experience. But still, like, I just... Wanted to, you know, share this with everybody. Share this with you. Share Karen this with needs to figure her stuff out. Yeah. And by the way, like I, I train a lot of, you know, people to do sales. You don't attack people. High energy, low energy, soft way, hard way. You guys can do whatever. You do not 
and attack people. That's a little bit different. Get your management in order. Yeah, get get your management in order. I mean, and maybe she, honestly, she probably attacked me because- Maybe she had a bad day. Dude, but- I can, wasn't there, I didn't hear it. You can have bad day all you want, but your personal life versus work life is so different. You can't mix that up. And if, you, if you're that type of person to mix it up, you should not, never do sales, you should probably never work. It's okay to, like, to go hard things. I've been through it, you know it. Yeah. Now, yeah. you know it the most. Yeah. But if you're talking to clients, you just gotta separate that. Yeah. And not think about it as much as you can. You, yeah. just, you can't, you, know, you just can't. So, that was pretty much it. Uh, did I miss anything? I feel like I missed a lot. Cheers. Cheers. I feel like I missed a lot. I'm so sorry. I'm I wasn't there, you didn't tell me any. This is the first time I'm here about this, so I have no I idea know. what's going on. I just let you guys know, English is my second language, so it's it, it, storytelling is a little bit hard for me. But I just keep forgetting things. But it's not the storytelling; it's the story remembering. To be honest, because he yeah. should have done this sooner. I know I should have. I should have. But I, I just wanted to get the core done, just so you know. And also, a dealership, oh, oh, a dealership oh. in Utah. If you guys are watching, are we calling this, them out too. No. Okay. I love you guys. You got. I put five hundred dollar deposit down. You know what they did? They gave it back. Fully back. They Be were, because the banks were being annoying with the whole title yes, thing? the whole title thing. They were Good job, guys. so great. Who, who were they? Planet Auto Sales in Linden, Utah. So if you guys are watching this, I love you guys. You guys were freaking great. David, Jim. Hasselhoff. David was great. He was a great salesman. Jim, good finance guy. Great. Um, so they, they tried their best though. So that's another McLaren P412C that I was going to buy from. It just didn't work out because of title reasons. But anyways. And then we learned third time's a charm. Don't buy McLaren. Oh, no, I didn't say that. He still wants a McLaren. No, I don't. We're getting a 720 next. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> if we if hit 100,000, we'll get an Aventador. Just because I want one. You and your V12s. Okay, are we done? Are we done? We need to anything, else you want to talk about? anything else you remembered? No, so that's pretty much it. Dealership that was very... Dis Cario. Dis Ooh. Dis Planet Fitness. Yay. Planet <laughs> Fitness. <laughs> Planet Auto Sales, uh, very disrespectful, um, five thousand dollar ridiculous deposit, non refundable. Even if the PPI didn't go through, like what well, PPI came back with, like you know. What's PPI stand for? Uh, pre purchase inspection. The more so, you know. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. If Kari are watching, if you guys are watching, lucky. <laughs>